Did Dawood Ibrahim, the notorious international terrorist, meet his end through poison? This question has sparked a wildfire of speculation across the globe. Reports are swirling that Ibrahim, who has evaded India's grasp for years from his hideout in Pakistan, was poisoned. Yet, as with any story of this magnitude, the details are murky and conflicting. Some sources claim that he has been assassinated in Pakistan, causing a ripple of reactions worldwide. Others, however, present an entirely different narrative. They suggest that Ibrahim is not dead. Rather, he is hospitalized. At 65 years old, this globally wanted terrorist is a central figure in Karachi's underworld. His connections with the infamous Spook Agency are well documented and his attempts to infiltrate India's raw industry are well known. Ibrahim's influence extends to Bollywood with links to numerous heroes and heroines. His shadow looms large over the Hindi film industry, with many alleging that his reach has led to widespread drug use among its stars. His alleged involvement in various riots in Mumbai is another testament to his extensive influence. In fact, if you were to trace the roots of injustice in India, you'd find Ibrahim's name etched deep within. Should the rumors of his poisoning and subsequent death prove true, it could potentially save the raw industry a significant amount of money and effort, a silver lining, one might say. Over in Gaza, Hamas is reportedly celebrating their victory, a testament to the reach of Ibrahim's influence. Yet, let's not forget that Pakistan has harbored Ibrahim for decades. This 65 to 67 year old man has been hidden away in Pakistan for nearly 30 to 40 years. If the reports of his death by poison are indeed true, then perhaps it's time for a second Diwali celebration. Shifting gears, there's another significant development that's worth noting. The Indian Navy is currently conducting tests for the landing and takeoff of UAVs from the indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vikrant. This is a significant step forward for the Indian military showcasing their growing capabilities. In addition to this, India is also purchasing the MQ-9B Reaper, a large drone, from America. Tests have been completed, deals have been struck, and payments have been made. The same Reaper is now being tested on our Vikrant aircraft carrier, a clear indication of the importance of drones in modern warfare. In today's world, can warfare exist without drones? Countries like Turkey and Russia seem to think not. They are investing heavily in drone technology, becoming formidable forces in the process. Even Iran, despite its economic struggles, is finding a lifeline in the drone industry. So, to recap, we've covered the potentially explosive news of Dawood Ibrahim's death and its global implications. The advancements in India's military capabilities with the testing of UAVs on the INS Vikrant and the growing importance of drones in modern warfare. It's a world where the lines between fact and speculation, between peace and conflict, are constantly being redrawn. And as always, we'll be here to navigate these turbulent waters together. Have you ever stopped to consider how crucial drone systems have become in modern warfare? Imagine the battlefield of the future, where the latest technology and strategic advancements shape the fate of nations. A world where drone systems are the new vanguards of defense and security. Well, that future is here, and India is at the forefront of this revolutionary shift. India's strategic defense upgrades and achievements have been nothing short of impressive. The country has made considerable strides in its military capabilities, securing its place as a formidable force on the global stage. One of the most significant milestones in India's defense narrative is the acquisition of the MQ-9B Reaper drone system. This drone system, recognized as one of the most powerful in the world, has bolstered India's defense capabilities exponentially. But it's not just about drones. Today, India's strategic defense arsenal is expanding at an unprecedented rate. The country's military leadership, including Army Chief Narav, has been instrumental in this transformation. Remember the clash that took place in Galwan in 2020? the confrontation that shook the world and served as a stark reminder of the precarious balance of power. General Manoj Mukund Narvani, 
the former Chief of Army Staff, declared today that China will never forget the attack on June 16th. It was a statement that echoed India's resolve and strength. In the realm of space technology, India's ISRO is making waves. To counter potential threats from the likes of China, ISRO is planning for a low Earth orbit LEO constellation, similar to the one operated by SpaceX. This March, ISRO achieved a significant milestone by sending the LVM-3 rocket carrying 36 OneWeb satellites into orbit. This accomplishment marked the first time ISRO has managed to launch such a large number of satellites simultaneously. These LEO satellites, placed in orbits ranging from 200 kilometers to 1500 kilometers from Earth, are poised to revolutionize communication. They can significantly increase bandwidth and reduce latency, making them invaluable for military use. On the home front, the induction of the nearby and Prelai missiles into the armed forces marks a significant strategic upgrade for India. These missile systems enhance the country's defense arsenal, making it stronger and more robust than ever before. In summary, India's strategic defense upgrades and achievements have defined a new era of modern warfare. The acquisition of the MQ-9B Reaper drone system, the advancements of ISRO, and the induction of the nearby and Prelai missiles are testament to India's growing defense prowess. As we move forward, India is poised to redefine the landscape of global defense and security. The future of warfare is here, and India is more than ready to meet it head on. Have you ever wondered about the story behind India's defense capabilities? How did the nearby and Prelai missiles become part of the nation's strategic arsenal? Well, sit back and prepare for a journey into the world of defense technology. The tale of these missiles begins with the understanding that a strong defense is the best deterrent. The one-time acquisition of the nearby and Prelai missiles has been viewed as a significant boost to the country's defense capabilities. These long-range attack cruise missiles have been actively collected by the Army, Air Force and Navy, forming part of an Integrated Rocket Force or IRF. This IRF, encompassing missiles like Prelai, Nearby, Brahma and Pinaka, presents a comprehensive package of long and intermediate range missiles. No other nation on the global stage boasts a combination quite like this. It's a strategic move to counter potential threats, reinforcing the country's position. Taking a leaf out of Israel's book, we see the power of a robust defense system. Despite being in Gaza for close to 80 days, the Israeli forces managed to uncover the biggest Hamas tunnel, a project led by Hamas leader Sinver. This achievement underscores the importance of a strong missile defense system, which includes both intermediate and long-range missile organizations. While nuclear weapons may be the most potent, they are not the most practical for a simple war. That's why medium-range, long-range missiles and drones are considered vital. India, recognizing this, has focused on integrating defense systems like Prelai and Akash. Demonstrating its power, the Akash air defense system, considered one of India's most potent weapons, neutralized four targets in one go during a recent test. It's a testament to the capabilities of the system and the strides made in the country's defense technology. In summary, the integration of the nearby and Prelai missiles into India's defense arsenal is a significant step forward. It's a move that fortifies the country's defense capabilities and underscores the importance of a robust missile defense system. The success of the Akash air defense system further highlights the strength and sophistication of India's defense technology. Remember, in the rapidly advancing landscape of defense technology, the priority is to stay ahead, to stay prepared. So. What do you think could be a bigger priority for a fast-growing nation like India? Feel free to share in the comments section. And if you've enjoyed this deep dive into India's defense capabilities, don't forget to like this video. If you haven't done so yet, do check out our other videos. We're sure you'll find them equally fascinating. And while you're at it, why not hit that subscribe button? Thank you, dear friends, for your support. Until the next video, stay safe, stay positive, stay active and stay fit. Dream big, believe in your ability to achieve anything and remember to take care of your loved ones. Until next time, this is Worldpedia signing off.